20 million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways, both ways. see the world when I want to, when I want to, shopping sprees when I want to, when I want to, with interest a show do, that'll do, $5,000 on the hotel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back guys, to another car bang, another Taco episode of T Taco Chronicles San Antonio review by your truly Siggy and the wifey. Hey y'all! Yeah. <laughs> so today on today's ta ta I don't know. Taco Chronicles. I don't know why I have such a Ziggy hard time style. saying that word, guys. Taco Chronicles, Ziggy as style. seen on Netflix. Yes. This is the final restaurant that was in the mm. San Antonio episode. Yes, yes, guys. Um, we're going to have, like, another episode, like, kind of like a bonus episode. Yes. We noticed they did feature some puffy taco places mm -hmm. on a completely different episode. Um, but it wasn't really focused on San Antonio only, mm -hmm. so we are going to do that. Yes. But, Stay tuned. <laughs> yes. Last episode in the San Antonio specific episode of tacos right um and we're at 2m smokehouse 2m smokehouse guys yes it's a good drive but hey i love driving it's like a short mini short draw you know road trip it was like literally 40 minutes from us yeah it's nothing <laughs> so um 2m smokehouse they're pretty popular very well known here mm -hmm. in san antonio you'll see from the little video that he took mm -hmm. that there was a line and we, and we actually yes. got there before they opened and it was still a line yeah they opened at 11 a.m we mm -hmm. got there at 10 30 and i'd probably say there was like 20 people in front of us yeah something give that. or take yeah so um oh, yeah go ahead once they open it started moving pretty quickly yeah and they open at 11 mm -hmm. on the dot, dot. So, um, yeah, they've been featured in Texas Monthly Magazine mm -hmm. as yes. one of the best barbecue places in all of Texas. Mm -hmm. I think probably the number one in San Antonio. Yes. You know, obviously, you see them on Netflix. Um, they've been pretty much all over the place. So, mm -hmm. they're pretty well known, very popular. This is our first time trying them. So, you got a little bit of everything. Yes, Almost yes, everything. we did. <laughs> yeah. That's why we had to... Drive home because with so much food, drive home, put it into our own comfortable container. comfortable container. It was still hot. That's mm -hmm. a good thing. And plus. Yeah. So um, we got some barbacoa. Um, oh, that's a good. I can see. It's yeah. too nice. <laughs> and the barbacoa is only made and served On the first. Sundays. No, the first Sunday of the month yeah, only. First Sunday of the month. So just one time per month, first Sunday. Primer domingo del mes. Yes. <laughs> then we got their brisket because we, I mean, it's Texas barbecue. Brisket you gotta right here. Gotta try the brisket, right? Um, we got their beef sausage. They have right a there. pork sausage as well. So we, but we wanted to try the beef. Then I've heard a lot of people say their Mexican corn is really good. So right we there. got that. And we also have what they call chicharroni macaroni. Mac and cheese right here. <laughs> it's basically macaroni and cheese with um chicharron on top. And yeah, so they give the barbacoa with some tortillas. These are their homemade, handmade tortillas, tortillas. I'm unwrapping here. And um the brisket, they serve that with a couple you can slices make your own taco. of bread. So here are the tortillas. Okay, all right, so we're gonna set our yes, your drinks up. We're ready. All right, what do you want? You want a tortilla? Huh? You want a tortilla or you want bread? Uh -oh. Tortilla. All right, so we're gonna set ourselves up and you know, come right back. <laughs> all right, guys, we made our little mini tacos. This is pretty much how they serve their barbacoa yeah. with tortillas, it is melt in your mouth. Well, I think it is. I haven't tried it yet. It looks melt in your mouth. Um, they actually, when you buy the family yeah. meal, you get a pound of barbacoa. They give you a dozen tortillas yes. and an eight ounce container of pico de gallo. Yes, but we, we exit out the pico de gallo yeah. for <laughs> the macaroni. The macaroni chicharron. Yeah, so we're just going to have it straight up. This is the best way yeah. to get the pure taste of the, of course. the barbacoa. Mm. Mm. That is good stuff. Wow. Wow. OMG. I think I was right when I said melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
Like delicioso. So juicy, so tender. That barbacoa is so tender, honestly. Mm -hmm. You don't need teeth. No, you don't need sauce. They give us this barbecue sauce. We're not fans of barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Um, they give us. In we looks, might try it just looks a tap. very yeah. thin. It's not thick like regular barbecue mm -hmm. sauce, but. You know. Yeah, we're not fans of it. We haven't tried it, so we're not saying we're not fans of their mm -hmm. barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. We're just not barbecue sauce people. In general. In general. But this doesn't need anything. No. Mm mm. Well, and I can understand why there's a line. Mm hmm. I will say, even for me, a self proclaimed salt queen, mm -hmm. it's a tiny bit salty. A tiny bit. Give it another bite. Give it another bite. Just a hair. Like a, like a tiny borderline. Mm-hmm. No big deal. But it's well seasoned. Mm-hmm. Mm. Have a jarrito. Wow. Probably the best barbacoa. Yeah, I've, I've had. Now, guys. Honestly. Do not get barbacoa confused with barbecue. No. How will we explain what we call it to someone? We don't know. I'll Google and put it on the screen. <laughs> but um, it's usually like, you know, traditionally, barbacoa was lamb. This is beef. I'm pretty sure this mm -hmm. is beef. It does not taste like lamb. Oh. Um, and it's usually like, you know, like wrapped in some sort of leaf or something. And mm -hmm. traditionally, it's like slow cooked under the earth. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're not slow cooking this under the earth. <laughs> <laughs> But however it is they're, that they're doing it, they're doing it well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Because More than you so. mm -hmm. It's really good, guys. While I'm finishing this, do you want to try the corn or the sausage? Here. Yeah. I will give a fork there. Tell you, right now, I give this, um, what is it? The barbacoa. <laughs> the barbacoa, I'm sorry. That's how good it is. Um... It's so good it took your memory away. <laughs> yeah, honestly. A 10. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you right now. I'm not even going to wait till the end. I don't know what cut of meat or what. You said the corn, right? Yeah, you can try the Me the Mexican corn or sausage, whatever. Mm. Okay, here, guys. I'm going to go for the corn. Mm. I'm a big fan of Mexican corn. How is it? Wow, that's really good. It's really good. You really taste the, the real authentic, you know, Mexican corn. The way, you know, it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, you got that cream. You got um, all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give it a try. Yeah. All that She's had it more than, than I have, to be honest. It's like, I can't, but, but you know, but yeah, it's really, really delicious. It's really on point. All right, so let's give the Mexican corn a taste. All right, you want to grab a piece of that sausage? So this, um... I, Guys, look at the sausage. <laughs> it's going to drip. It's going to drip. You can pull it apart. It's already cut. Oh, really? Oh, I had no <laughs> idea. All right, let me try the corn. Mm. Oh my god. This sausage is good. The corn is good. I, th I the corn kernels are really crunchy. Excuse me guys. Um probably Don't they normally like that? Yeah, but I just feel the mm. corn could have been cooked a little bit more. Maybe that's just me. Um What kind of sausage is this? Beef. Is it straight up beef? Um, I don't know what's all in it. I don't look. I can check on my phone. But, um, I don't like it, those like mixed up sausages, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But damn, this is fairly good. Um, I do know that they have uh, a pork sausage as well. And we chose the beef. So, oh, don't make a mess. So, yeah. Um, let me see. This is their house-made 
Akashi beef sausage. Mm. Don't know what Akashi means. <laughs> Probably should have looked that up. Sounds like um, some Asian. No, no, just Akashi. Mm. Mm. Sounds like that on the nutritional bar, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has a great snap. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you bite into it, it, it pops. That's what you want. I wish I that's what you want to sauce a nice snap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it tastes very flavorful. It is very flavorful. Mm -hmm. um, not dry at all. We've had some really bad dry sausage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It's not bad. No. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is very on, top, on the top of the list, man. I don't know if you can hear the snap when I bit into it. I would say put Argentina, Italian, then this sausage under the list. This is like really good. That's high ratings for you. All right, I'm going to give the chicharroni macaroni <laughs> a try. And I wasn't, we weren't going to get this, but, mm. but people in line behind us, I heard them talking about the macaroni that you've got to try the macaroni. So I'm like, okay. Um, if everyone's getting the macaroni, I'm getting the macaroni. <laughs> so let's see. Should I, I'll get a piece of the chicharroni in here as well that's gonna be my bite <laughs> i hope you guys can see it mm, hit a crunch mm -hmm. mm. it's nice and creamy mm -hmm. i get no crunch mm -hmm. Their macaroni is good. No crunch. I think they should be have like put like more chicharron. Mm -hmm. like, everybody should get I, a crunch. Well, um. But it's very creamy. But, yeah. You know, that's how the macaroni should be. But you don't want it sat saturated in chicharron because it's not, you know. Here, try But if that. it's just on. I got a little crunch. Yeah, because you got a piece of the chicharron. You just. It's kind of like, you know, regular mac and cheese with the mm -hmm. breadcrumbs on it. Mm -hmm. Only the top layer is crispy. The rest of it is not. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's... Right, so how, well, I'm sorry. This, how, what would you give the sausage? A number? Yeah. We're, we're not ready to rate right, it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's really like, so good. I'm like, so ready. You know, let you guys know what it, what it is, what it is. I'm saying. But I agree. This macaroni and cheese is good. Mm -hmm. It's super creamy, velvety. The macaroni is not overcooked. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly cooked. And the cheese sauce has great flavor. I got to say, like, I, while we're in the line, I was like, damn, you know, I was like, why are they not moving faster? I'm like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. But she made a good point. When, you know, when, they, when it was getting, got to our turn, you know, when the line was getting shorter, there could be the people in front of us, um, the customers in front of us will probably have big, big orders mm -hmm. because by the time we get to our turn and we ordered food and we actually got the food and we paid and got the food, it was in a matter of minutes, like maybe even less than five minutes to be honest with you. They were, yeah. they were quick in getting the food, the food out to you, the order out to you. They served this quickly. Yes. But I just think other folks ahead yeah. of us had really had big orders. Because yeah. so there was a while. big family in front of us. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to try the brisket. The brisket. The brisket here. You can just put it on your bread. God, look at this thing. <laughs> you, do you see that smoke ring? That nice pink smoke ring. Yeah. Look at that, guys. That's and they, yeah, they gave you sliced white bread mm. to have the brisket. So, so guys, I got to tell you of all. That's how I do it. <laughs> Do you want another slice huh? to make a full sandwich? You no, want another slice? Fine. Okay. Um, of all the places we've tried so far mm -hmm. in our Taco Chronicles series, mm -hmm. this has been the most expensive one. <laughs> yeah. The others were all actually under $30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was one that was like $16, another that was like $22, another one was like, what, $24, so whatever. But this is by, by the pound. Yeah. That's probably why. So... Texas barbecue is expensive. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're you're gonna spend some money when you go to get barbecue yeah. in Texas. No matter which place you go to, really. No matter where you go, um, 
the barbacoa, the family meal, which I thought was a really good deal. Mm -hmm. You get a pound of barbacoa, you get 12 tortillas, and a side of pico Mm -hmm. for $29. Not bad. So that's what we got. And we switched out the pico, as we told you, at the top of this for um, the mac. Um, Then we got a pound of brisket, which is $32 per pound. Mm -hmm. We got the beef sausage, which is $6. And what else did we get? The bread they give you for free. <laughs> um, the macaroni, no, not the macaroni, the corn. Yeah. I think that was like $4 or something. Basically, I still had to say our total was almost $100. It was $93 mm-hmm. was her total for yeah. what we, we ordered. Um, so far, I think it was worth it. Yeah. Um. The brisket, it could be a little bit fatty. It could be a bit more juicier. And I did it's extra not, moist. I did extra uh, the yeah. fatty piece of moist. But I'm not tasting that. Mm-hmm. I'm not tasting that. Oh, well, she got I'm not tasting. It's not tough, which is a great thing. You know, it's not hard. It's not, but it's not standard. It's nice. But it's not juicy. It's not, you know, what you're expecting, what you're craving for. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say this. When we got it, Mm -hmm. and we stepped out of the restaurant, before we transferred it to another container and we opened Mm -hmm. it, we tried a piece of the brisket. Mm -hmm. That was probably the fattiest piece we tried. Mm -hmm. Um, True. And that was super tender. Super tender, super moist. I know brisket is a, you know, has the fatty pieces and also has Mm -hmm. really lean pieces. And... The lean pieces are usually have a little bit of a bite to it. It's not mm-hmm. it's not gonna be melt in your mouth. Mm-hmm. But the overall taste. It's a good tasting brisket. Good I tasting brisket, guys. Yeah. Because of the nature of brisket, I like my brisket sliced thinner. Mm-hmm. They slice it kind of thick. But yeah, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Again. And it has come from the salt queen. <laughs> a hair salty. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think that you're right. It's a tiny hair, like borderline. Yeah. Yeah. I would say just dial back the salt a tiny bit. It could be what they used to cook it. It could be that. Whatever they seasoned it with. Yeah, that's I'm right. full. <laughs> yeah. Time to start grading. Did we try everything? I think yep. we did, right? Yep. Time to review. So, scale of 1 to 10, what do you give the, the place? Overall, ambiance, not that there was much ambiance, but, you know, aesthetics, customer service, quality of the food. Overall, what do you give the place? A 9. A 9? A 9. I think it will deserve tonight. Mm-hmm. I think they need like maybe one or two more people to make it go, go a bit faster. They have one person cutting, one person giving the order, one person in, in the back, you know, packaging. with the appetizer packaging. That's all. Um, the food tastes really good. Everything was on point. Just like, you know, the only thing I was just we both agreed on um, was the slightly thin here, borderline, you know, salty. And the brisket was not um, as, as, as she ordered it. That's it. Everything else was on point. I agree with his nine for exactly everything that he just said. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Nothing to disagree on <laughs> right there. A hair salty. And I love salt, guys. I'm not a sweet person. I love salt. So for me mm. to say something is a hair salty, yeah. that means I'm not I'm not lying. Mm. I'm really not. If you love driving, if you love um, this kind of food, which who doesn't, mm-hmm. if you have a family, I would say, you know, get up early, go for it. You know what I'm saying? They have a lot of b- tables and we chairs. We saw lots of families there. Yeah. I was surprised yeah. that early on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Like literal families mm-hmm. out with small kids. Yeah. <laughs> they have a lot of tables and chairs. It's an open area. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Praying that, that it's never any on that day. But mm-hmm. if it's nice and sunny, go ahead. Travel over there. You now... Let's rate the barbacoa. 
No, the bar guy. Mm-hmm. 9.5. Okay. No, I said 10, yeah, I'm sorry. A 10, I said earlier. Remember, mm-hmm. remember right off the back, I said, mm-hmm. I thought God, it was the average. As soon as I had it to go back, I was like, no, I gotta give my rating right now. Mm-hmm. It's a 10. I gave the barbacoa a 9.5. It was almost perfect, except for that salty. That's the only thing. You know, that's the only thing. But it's like, it's, it's so flavorful, so moist, it literally dissolves in your mouth. I think even though it's, it has a borderline, you know, the hairline of, of of salty, I think because it's like because it's just so flavorful, and so good, mm-hmm. you know, the best I've I've had in in like forever. Mm-hmm. I will just let that pass and, just, and give it a ten, honestly. Uh, that sounds fair. That actually sounds fair. What you're saying. Hey hey hey. Yeah. All right. What do we give the chorizo? The ch- the sausage, yeah. A ten. Okay. Like I said, I put it on top of the, my sausage <laughs> list. Mm-hmm. My sausage list is always Argentina, yeah, Italian, then this. So, I give the sausage an eight. I, I like the sausage, but I'll be honest and say I'm not a big <coughs> sausage person. Um, I like the snap. And I feel like I've in life I've had better sausage. <laughs> But it wasn't bad, so I give it an eight. <laughs> um, how about the chicharroni macaroni? I love saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a nice ring to it. Um, to, 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 what could I give that? It is very creamy. That I give it. I, they, I, for me, just personally, I wish I had a little bit more chicharron, you know, so you can get that crunch in every bite. Um... I'll say this just a second. <laughs> I was about to get my, my <laughs> One second, yeah. guys. They gave us the macaroni and cheese to in to go, and the chicharroni was actually in a separate container. So I'm the one who put that amount of chicharroni on top. Okay. So blame me for it not having enough chicharroni on top. I'm not greedy. For you. I'm, greedy. <laughs> I'm just saying it's All not right. their fault. <laughs> um, um, a nine. Mm. I agree. I give it a nine too. It's good macaroni and cheese. Forget about the chicharrones. Because mm-hmm. I'm not putting chicharrones on my macaroni nice and cheese. Nice and creamy. I thought it should be. But the macaroni. quality of the macaroni and cheese itself, Very good. it's it's really good macaroni and cheese. Better than any of these fast food joints. Better than your Popeyes, yeah. your your Chick Fil A's. Yeah. It's good. It's almost like homemade macaroni and oh, cheese. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. good macaroni and cheese. So I give it. A it's nine. as good as hers. And trust me, her mac and cheese. Psh, I got to agree with that. <laughs> My mac and cheese is the boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. but, <laughs> Last but not least, baby, the Mexicano corn. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's mm. not the last. We haven't rated the brisket. Oh, I thought but we did. Yeah, no, we didn't. Well, let's, <laughs> did we rate the brisket? Yeah, we did. What did we rate the brisket? Remember I gave you a 10? No, that was the barbacoa. The oh, brisket sh- is the last. Oh, shoot. You're right. Sorry. Let's go to okay. mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. We just said mac and no. cheese. Oh, my God. The Mexican corn. Okay. The Mexican corn. The Mexican corn. Um, I can't even remember too much about it. <laughs> Take another bite. There's more there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I so sorry. I give the Mexican corn a seven. It's good. It's not bad. I've had worse. I've had better. Much better. I give it a seven. If you've never had good Mexican corn, you'll like that. Yeah, I agree. Seven. Yeah, a seven. It's it's not bad. It's just uh, uh could be better. <laughs> It'll go down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it's, 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 good. it's nothing to phone home about. It's good. <laughs> um, the brisk. The, the brisket. The, mm-hmm. Um, I think I have told you guys. It's not what she ordered. She ordered juicy, you know, nicely fatty. We didn't get that. Um, so but you could eat it. It was good. It tasted good. Otherwise, so I'll give it a nine. Wow. You know what? Maybe not. 8.5. <laughs> My final, final score. Yeah. I agree with him. I think it's like Whoa. the first rating that I've actually... They were both on point. Because usually we've been disagreeing with the ratings, but I've like literally agreed with... Yeah, I'm like, where's the most, love? Most, the love is here. <laughs> I saved it for this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, I... Yeah. I have nothing else to say. I agree with your rating. Thank you, thank you. As I'm seems perfectly fair to me. All right, guys. <laughs> I truly hope you guys enjoyed this um review, this um this 
tour of Vicky's style review of the Taco Chronicles. Mm -hmm. You know, th thank you for, you know, going around with us. You know, and I hope that you when you guys are in Texas, put in your GPS all these places and check them out. All right, guys, mi amigos, mi gente, check them out. Let them know. Let them know about us. Check them out to see if you agree with us. Yes, on of course. Our Comment down below. Let everybody know about these places, about yeah. Ziggy's. Let them know who we are. Help the, the family grow. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys enjoyed these places as much as we did. And maybe even well, more or less or the some same. Some of the places we didn't enjoy. We did yeah. not enjoy some of the places. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much or more or less. Just let us know. Comment down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What he said. <laughs> Bye. Love you. <laughs>